If like me, every now and then you head over to Google, you search Command and Conquer news and you drag your eyes to look at the anticipated disappointment of seeing a passing tumbleweed with nothing to report. Weirdly, in a passing conversation with a friend about good times on the old RTS games, they told me that they'd heard there was a new Command and Conquer game coming out. And in a massive panic, I headed over to Google, but first, this calls for a massive celebration. <laughs> Only to find out that it's a fucking mobile game. The plan is to be on mobile, both uh, Android and iOS. Uh, we don't have any plans at the moment to do a uh, PC. Do you guys not have phones? Yeah, you guys all have phones. Phone, right? You can play your tablet too. Honestly, at this point, Command & Conquer is like an ex that we had a great time, and every time I go back to her, I realize why I walked away in the first place. I mean, honestly, at this point, EA must have lost faith in how to make a good RTS game. I have to believe that there are talented people and passionate enough people to make an excellent game, but they just can't figure out how to monetize it. Because let's be honest, any AAA game without a battle pass, cosmetics, DLC, and half-baked updates just doesn't make the cut anymore. I mean, to my memory, the Command & Conquer Generals 2 that we never got was their only attempt at a monetization strategy, which was through paying for generals. And if my memory serves me well, that went down like a lead balloon, and there was never a real attempt since, minus Command & Conquer Remastered, which didn't have any DLC to my knowledge, and Command & Conquer Rivals mobile game. I just don't think it's possible for a AAA company to make a game for £60 and expect to see a good return because of their fat investors needing maximum return to who I say as a consumer who loves Command & Conquer, fuck you. But no, let's be adults here. Everyone has to make a crust and a great game with great cosmetics will make a killing. So why are we not holding a great Command & Conquer game today? Lack of faith from the company, i.e. EA. We all know that this gacha poop of a mobile game is gonna make them dosh. And we can safely say that the game doesn't really look or feel like a Command & Conquer game. I will try this rubbish because Command & Conquer Rivals actually did surprise me. It was a little bit better than I thought it was gonna be. And that's not hard considering my expectations were so low for that game. And I suppose the only way was up really. But once I realized it was a loot box, pay to win pile of trash, it was swiftly uninstalled. And I know this will be the same here. EA, if you ever watch this, be innovative. Make a fun RTS that is true to its formula and feel, but actually try some new and cool, exciting new things. We never know what we really want. So be innovative, try and fail, update and put things right when you stumble and find a way to make some cash that makes sense, is reasonable and doesn't affect the gameplay to win. Then everyone that had the opportunity to play Command & Conquer can relive and play another awesome title. That's all I have to say on this one to be honest. If you're excited to play this then tell me why and if you have any ideas for how EA could relight the Command & Conquer franchise then comment below because I'll be interested. But I do genuinely really want to see an awesome Command & Conquer game and it really upsets me that we haven't seen one yet. And let's be honest as well that Command & Conquer Remastered did a great job but let's be real. We don't want to see a remaster. We really want to see a new Command & Conquer game and that's what we're all rooting for, right? But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe and if you didn't like the video then I guess you don't really have to worry. See ya!